having a hoot when I saw an angle and man it looked cute and you know in my pocket was my favorite protractor because my boys call me the degrees extractor I found the center point aka the origin lined it up with the vertex like a reflex I aligned one ray on the baseline and measured at the other ray's tick line in degrees the angle measured 32 I said dang angle dude you'll catch the flu when measuring angles remember the sign of it. degrees a little circle up and to the right if you please protractor in my And I said to my friend, man, that thing looks obtuse. I found the center point, aka the origin. Line it up with the vertex like a reflex. I aligned one ray on the baseline and measured at the other ray's tick line. The measure of the angle we both could see was exactly 99 degrees clear as could be. And then my friend said, yo, that's obtuse all right. Nine degrees less than that thing would have been right. We high five, followed by our secret handshake. Our love of protractors is a bomb that no one can break. Protractor in my pocket. It takes just a few steps. Here's what to do. First thing is to draw a straight line. Make sure the baseline and center point align. Then mark the measure we wish to find and connect it to the vertex we've designed. Now let's estimate the angle that's in sight. Is it acute? Is it obtuse? Or is it right? This angle looks greater than 90 degrees, so it's obtuse, which helps us choose the right scale to use. We'll line up one ray along the bottom line, then line up the origin with the vertex inside. Finally, we'll find the number where the other ray leads. Measure in degrees. 